Creating a Better World for Everyone. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 140. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 140, November 29th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all of the open source content and creations, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 50% of the written content for the fall lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan has purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of fall. We additionally completed and added the first 25% of the mind map for the fall lesson plan and fall subject theme icons to the web page. You can see the mind map here. Behind the scenes, we also wrote the second third of the winter lesson plan, bringing the behind the scenes written part of that to about 65% complete. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed another 10% of the organization of the streamlined version of our food cell sufficiency transition plan page, which includes contributions provided by naturopathic Dr. Matt Materano, creator of the coherent model for comprehensive digestive health. This week, we added anchor links and images to sections of the page and began creating breakout pages for specific weeks of recipes. You can see one of those here and the page is now 50% complete behind the scenes. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the food self-sufficiency transition plan. These recipes are unstuffed poblano, tomato pumpkin bisque, and chicken chopped salad with cranberry vinaigrette. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team working on highest good housing put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revisions for the Footers Foundation and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week's focus was footer widths and form specifics, edits of excavation and center point reestablishment, and compass installation details. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say this brings us to 54% complete with the total rewrite and update. We also created the new Straw Bale Village Pod 2 header and updated the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 page with it. Last but not least, Dean Schulz, architectural designer, began working on the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates. 
This work included converting the Revit files from the summer intern team into 3DS Max files and beginning to fix the floor plan layout and first and second floor congruency issues. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added 3D people, some additional venting details, and shelving supports for the duplicable city center kitchen. We also redid the second floor dining area to match the updated AutoCAD floor plan. We'd say this brings us to 78% done with the complete 3D update. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued finalizing the pipe furniture design renders to the duplicable city center library as well. The new renders you see here show the variety of different combinations of wood types, pipe types, and fabrics we researched and determined would be quality options for these designs. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and Lucas Tetsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued work on the control systems design. Here's the most recent layout for this. And here are pictures of Mike talking about different components, how they will connect and fit into the control panel, and ways to save space by using different ones. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team finished building the copyrights, trademarks, patents, and using them to support open source and free sharing page. This page shares the amazing work of Oz Chersky, a lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law. The week's progress included final edits and formatting to bring this page to 100% complete. We also placed ads to try and find ourselves a volunteer patent attorney or patent agent to help create the open source and patenting tutorial page. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community's purpose and focus is creating a better world for everyone. Our way of doing that is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all the components of highest good living. We've identified these components as the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we have identified as education, fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, and true earth stewardship. Our idea is to put these two things together as an evolution of sustainability and then to demonstrate it as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. The ultimate expression of everything that we're doing is a complete teacher demonstration community village or city designed to teach others how to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities too. This self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hub is purpose to transform life on this planet for everyone positively impact the life of every single person on this planet within one generation. And we believe that's possible by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough because it will become a self-replicating model. This is our idea of creating a better world for everybody and how we're accomplishing the goal. And our website goes over all the specifics and details of exactly how we are unfolding this process right now, and these weekly progress updates show how we are addressing each of the different areas through open source tools, tutorials, and resources all the different areas that I discussed. So if this sounds interesting, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like something you'd like to be involved in, we have lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer members that will move to the property and build one community to just sharing our information on the internet. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Sue, we are on Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks because we want to get the hands, that we want to get the information in the hands of as many people as possible. With a goal of creating a better world for everyone, that ultimately means that what we are doing is purpose to touch the lives of every single human being on this planet in some way, which means we need to get this into the hands of as many people as quickly as possible. And our process, our, our marketing plan for doing that is open sourcing and free sharing everything that we do. We believe that giving away everything that we create is the fastest way to create more and more exposure. 
And so we are seeking help to do that through everybody that watches our videos, everybody that follows our project, everybody that sees value in what it is that we're doing. We believe if we provide enough value that people will share that value. And so we're on all the different social media networks to make that as easy as possible. And ultimately, we are leading towards building one community as a living prototype that people can come visit and experience. And this, of course, is the number one thing we're seeking right now is large-scale funding for that purpose, to purchase the property that we have been looking at and working around for five years but don't own so that we can share that location, so that we can share why that location was chosen, why it's perfect to have thousands, tens of thousands, and ultimately hundreds of thousands of people come and visit. And if they like what they see, if they like what they experience, to be able to take that and go build it for themselves. To accomplish all of this, we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that creating a better world for everyone is not only possible, but the time is now, and we are the people to do this. We're not waiting for somebody else. The process is already happening. We've been at it. Our organizations have been at it for five years now, and we have made huge strides towards that goal. This is where we're up to. This is what we're doing. So thank you for following our progress. Thank you for sharing our information on social media. Thank you for the small donations that we get. The $5, the $10, the $25 donations that we get are immensely helpful because we are a 100% unpaid, all-volunteer organization. So none of us are getting any money for what it is that we're doing. So small donations help to cover the expenses, which are quite sizable for running a website as large as ours and a nonprofit organization as big as ours. Those donations really help to make it so that those, uh, those costs aren't completely coming out of the pocket of those of us that are working on this project. And of course, thank you for the emails. Thank you for the comments. I already said thank you for the shares on social media. All those things make a really big difference in helping our project to grow, to evolve, to improve itself, and to get in the hands of the people that are most interested in that. So we will continue to create a better world for everyone. We thank everyone that supports us. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.